Welcome to another video. Today I will talk about license costs of Windows servers. Many of you like Windows or want to use Windows because they are used to it and it's okay, but you might have noticed if you're renting a server that the majority of costs will rise dramatically if you don't use Linux but Windows because the license costs are pretty high. Here for example it's $70 per month only to use Windows. In this video I will show you how you can use a server at NetCup, install Windows there step by step and uh, test it for 180 days and extend this period six times up to six times so you can use it three years without paying one cent. The advantage, advantage here is pretty obvious I think. Um, if you save the costs on the license fees you can pay it for the server itself and you get much better hardware you can use for your daily trading operations or back tests or whatever you plan to do with it. Just to compare here you have 16 gig rams and 8 cores for 15 euros per month and if you want something similar with windows you end up pretty easy around 100 dollar or more. First of all you have to select the server you want to rent. Um, I recommend this one to start with. You have 8 gig of RAM which is enough for Windows and trading operations. Um, this one is even better and yeah, if you go down here it gets just a bit, little bit expensive, uh, more expensive but you get better and better specs. If you just compare the uh, most expensive one for 40 euros and what you get for it and compare it with the Windows offers then yeah you can see there's a big difference. So I would suggest that you take this one for the starter and then you click here on order now and choose the location depending on where your broker is. So uh, if he is in Europe you of course choose the location in Europe. If he's in the United States like trading, uh, IC trading or something like this then you choose the USA. Um, if you then go to your shopping cart you can enter a voucher here. I put them below the video and with this voucher you can save five more euros on your first order. After the order um, you have to go to your CCP login. This is where you can manage all your server stuff and um, kind of your client area if you will. If you logged in here you can either click on this link or select the server in the upper left corner and this will bring you to the next window. This is the overview of your server control panel. Um, you can select your server up here and after that you can open up a terminal window or if you will a virtual monitor to your server by clicking in this black box here. This will open a pop-up and you will have to leave this open because you have to switch back and forth multiple times. If you can see right now there is a Linux installed. This is the default. Don't get scared by this. We will replace it now with Windows and I will guide you through the whole process step by step. For this um, you have to select media then go to DVD drive and here we select Windows Server 2019. We click here to set a boot enable from DVD and then we attach the DVD with a click here. After this we go to control and click on power cycle. This can take some time. And after this, we should come back up uh, in the VNC window here with, it's not connected because we restart the server right now, but in a moment we should see there the Windows installation. Now the server has booted again and we are in the Windows installation setup process. We click on next, install now.
here we choose the desktop experience because we want a graphical environment of course we accept next custom and as you can see we couldn't find any drives so we need to load the driver to do this we have to go back to the server control panel again we leave this open don't close it go back to your server control panel and there you go again to media click up here on dvd drive and this time we select the windows driver dvd and click to attach after the screen successful dvd message we go back to our server and then we click on load driver browse and here we see the driver dvd we expand it by clicking on this error then we click this error on amd64 here we select 2k19 and click OK. As you can see, he selected the right driver for us and we now click Next. After this, we go back here and we have to reattach the installation media so we can proceed with the installation now the drivers are loaded so we went once again select windows server here oh we have to detach this one first i think and then select again the windows server and attach it Okay, and now we go back to our server and we just delete everything that is here. We don't need anything of this. And click on the unallocated space, click next and the Windows installation starts. We now have to wait a bit for it to finish. Once it's uh, finished, it will restart. If it says press any key to boot from CD, you don't do anything because we already installed the uh, operating system. So we don't need to start from DVD again. It seems to restart twice. Okay. Um, here you have to enter a password. And that's it. Now you are ready to use your Windows. You have to click on Control Alt Delete. Here you can use the link in the top, which brings you to your login window where you can enter the password you just choose. Uh, chosen. <coughs> and there you go. Once you are logged into your new Windows server, you will notice that we don't have any network connectivity right now. This is because we are still missing some drivers and why we will head once again back to our server control panel and the last time we need to attach the Windows driver DVD. I already done this, but you have to attach it. And if the driver DVD is inserted, you go back to your server. Click on start. Control panel. Hardware. And device manager. You then see the Ethernet controller doesn't have any drivers so far. <coughs> we double click it update the driver we browse the computer and here we just select the dvd drive 
and click OK. We include the subfolders and click on Next. Now we found the driver and click on Close. The device is working properly. Here we click No, Close, Close, Close. And that's it. Now you are connected to the internet. And you can start using your server for your day to day trading operations. This is a bit annoying. It is just some Microsoft yeah, stuff and I suggest the first thing you do is download a decent browser like Firefox or Chrome or whatever you like and then you can start downloading MetaTrader, make your back tests and what you want. Um, if you want to check the um, status of your 180 days period of evaluation then you have to go to the windows powershell and you enter slmgr dlv and this brings up this window here you can see the rearm count it says six and this means that you can extend these 180 days six more times so if you come close to zero in your first 180 days you can rearm six times and extend it to a period of three years without paying co uh, any fees to microsoft the way how you rearm your um, period if it is near to zero you just enter the same comment and put rearm here and this will then after a restart that's it for now i hope this video was helpful if you have any further questions you go can go to pvnforex.org um, there's a contact section and there you can find ways to contact me if you need any further assistance in setting up your server if you like the video you can like it and yeah subscribe to the channel and if you want to see any other like server hosting windows tips for example how to how to secure your remote desktop protocol access to the server with a vpn or whatever then you can just leave me a comment and i will do it <laughs>